welcome back to my channel. So holy shizzle, Alegria is coming back on tour. What the freak? I have been dying to see this show since it ended. This show, in fact, was the first show that I discovered Cirque du Soleil by. And then it was Alegria, and then I found out more about Cirque, and then I, I learned more about Totem. And then from there, it just, it's all another video. But I was so excited to hear the announcement that Alegria is coming back on tour that I filmed this look for you guys. This is one of the trapeze artists from the show, Alegria, of course. And this is like inspired by it because I don't know how it really looked. So this is like as good as I saw from a picture. So hopefully you guys like it. And if you guys want to know how I create this, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this circ. I am so down to go in April for next year to Montreal to see the first show of the resurrection of Alegria. Like this video if you think I should do that. <laughs> if I'm that crazy to go. I, and if I were to go, should I do a Alegria inspired makeup to the show? <laughs> but anyways, if you guys want to see how I created this look, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You know the drill with that. Okay, Manny MUA um, cameo. And... Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I already said that. <laughs> Follow me on social media. And yeah, if you guys want to know how I created this video, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, guys. Let's get on to the tutorial. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm covering my eyebrows I'm using Elma's glue. If you'd like, you can use Prosaid. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it if you don't know how to take it off, which you can use uh, Ben Nye's Bond Off. Highly recommend it. Next, we are covering our highest point of our face using white foundation. This is from Ben Nye. And once you have the highest points, you're going to go ahead with the next highest points and just cover the rest up with the Ben Nye Ultralight Highlight. And once you have that done, go ahead and do your foundation next and go ahead and blend those three together as smooth as possible. Make sure to blend to the gods because you guys know we gotta blend good to the gods. Next, we're applying some cream shadow, cream shadow, cream blush called Dusty Rose on the cheeks. And next, we are contouring our feet. So make sure you get a cute little contour, okay? It has to be super, super cute. Super cute. We gotta look super snatched. Sorry, I don't have a lisp, but it sounds super cute. And be sure to get that jawline. You know, if you don't have one like me, make one. That's what makeup's for. <laughs> Doing between your chin, and don't forget to carve out your nose. Next, we are taking this blue magic color pencil, and we are sketching our new eyebrows just above our eyebrows believe it or not and then you're gonna go slightly downward up to where the eyebrow starts and go ahead and do that for both sides and off camera I did I tapped in into a little bit of the red just a tiny tiny bit and I did um, the, the sides of my nose next I am going with this Rimmel pencil called Cafe Ole and I'm just going to outline my lips and then using a brush I went ahead and filled them in and then on the bottom of my lip on the sides I tapped a little bit of white just to you know make them look a little bit more full make them look a little plump so we love good plump lip go ahead and get rid of the creases under your eyes and set one eye at a time as well as the eyelids you gotta set that one eye at a time we love a good eye and next, just go ahead and dust yourself in powder. Drench that. That drug. My favorite drug. Setting powder. And then go ahead and brush off the excess powder. Next, using MAC Emphasize, we're going to emphasize every little highlight that we did. It's like a boost. 
it boosts that highlight it makes it stand out yes good next we're going to use mac blush i believe i'm using peaches on our elbows over cheeks pulling it back And then using Shade Stir from MAC, it's a contouring powder. We are just chiseling out our cheeks. Gotta make ourselves look skinty, honey. Honey. We gotta look stan. Don't forget to do the sides of your nose. And once you have that done, we are going to be tapping into a blue eyeshadow from Ben Nye using the small detail brush. I actually have the brushes beside me, so let me quickly see what the name of that brush is. So that is the MAC, the MAC. The Morphe M149 brush I am using on the blue, and that's the same brush I am using on the bridge on the our under our eyes where we created a new waterline off camera clearly, and our top liner as well. Well, for the top liner and the bottom liner, I use a small pointed detail brush, and then I'm using that this little fluffy detail brush to smoke it out. And using the M504 brush, I tapped into the light blue eyeshadow from Ben Nye as well. And, of course, you guys, I will put the details in the description box down below because I forget what eyeshadows I use. Okay, cut me some slack. Oh, and off camera, I also applied a little bit of nylon on the bottom part of our lip just to make them look a little bit more plump. More plump than what plumped they were with the white on the sides of our uh, bottom lip. We love a good bottom plump lip. And going back and forth motions from the outer corner towards the inner corner, we're going to do it like that. God, and then we're gonna apply a little bit of cloud white under our eyes. Oh, and also off camera, I applied a little bit of red eyeshadow on the sides of our nose just to make it stand out, too. Just an FYI. And I'm also bringing that cloud white up to our um, eyelid, and then whatever is left from the blue eyeshadow, we're just gonna smoke it out and kind of mix it together. Apply Oh Darling Highlights. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice highlight. Yes, God. A little bit of mascara on both eyes, of course, up and down, side to side, left and right, in and out. And then we're going to apply a little bit of setting spray, and you are done. 